In this tutorial, we will show how to use the P50, P90 estimation tool. The P50, P90 evaluation is a probabilistic approach for the interpretation of the simulation result over several years. This requires several additional parameters which are not provided by the simulation process and should be specified by the user. This feature is not available for standalone and pumping systems, where it is more difficult to define. This approach supposes that over several years of operation, the distribution of the annual yield will follow a statistical law which is assumed to be the Gaussian or normal distribution. Let us start by further explaining the concept behind the Gaussian distribution, as well as the role of the mean value and the standard deviation. The normal or the Gaussian distribution describes the tendency for data to cluster around a central value. This value is the mean. Some data will then fall below the mean and other above the mean. The standard deviation sigma describes the spread of the normal distribution. The larger the sigma, the more spread out the distribution will be. And the contrary, the smaller the sigma, the distribution is less spread out, accumulating more data near the mean. So the mean determines the location of the distribution and where the data tends to cluster around. If you increase the mean, the curve will follow and move to the right. If you decrease the mean, the curve will follow to the left. This happens because the data will always cluster around the mean in normal distributions. As a result, the value of the mean determines the position of the normal distribution. The P50, P90 estimation thus represents a statistical level of confidence that the energy yield potential of a site and the predicted production from the energy grid system will be exceeded with a probability of 50%, respectively 90%. The problem is now to establish the two parameters of the Gaussian distribution, that is the mean value and the standard deviation, named sigma or RMS. The main contribution to those parameters will be the uncertainty and the variability of the meteor data, but other uncertainties in the simulation process and parameters should be taken into account. Commonly available meteor climatic data have usually some uncertainties of different kinds, which may produce very significant differences between sources or years in the same source. These may be the yearly variability, which is supposed to have a Gaussian distribution, the quality of the data recording, care of the operators, positioning, calibration and the drift of the sensors, perturbation like shading, dirt or snow on the sensors, etc. The presence of a not negligible horizon of terrestrial measurements, the location difference, distance of measuring station for terrestrial measurements, the quality of the models used for interpreting the satellite data, which is in continuous improvement since 20 years. The evolution of the climate. In Europe, it seems that irradiation has increased by as much as 5% since the beginning of the 21st century. For activating the P50 P90 tool, please open the button Energy Management page P50 P90 Estimation in the Grids project dialog. First, choose the kind of data. If the data are representative of an average over several years, like monthly averages or TMY, the result should be considered as an average and correspond to the P50, mean value of the Gaussian. If the data are for a specified year, these cannot be considered as representative for the P50 value. In absence of further information, you cannot determine a reliable P50 P90 indicator but if you have some information about the usual average of the site, you can introduce an estimation of the deviation of this particular year with respect to the average. Again, this will displace the P50 value with respect to the simulation result. However, PVSYST gives the opportunity of taking a specified climate change into account. This will displace the mean value P50 of the Gaussian with respect to the simulation result. This is useful for interpreting simulations performed with old average data, Meteonorm, PVGs, Classic, etc., which are known to be lower than the present climate. The annual variability, sigma value, will be dominated by the meteor year to year variability. This information is not commonly available. A report by Pierre Inaichen in 2011 gives some evaluation for about 30 sites in the world. 
PVCIS proposes default values according to these data. The new version of Meteor Norm 7.2, 7.3 and 8.0 provide annual variability for your site. Several Meteo data providers can now deliver multi-year Meteo data of sets of 15 to 25 years that you can directly import in PVSYST. If you avail of such Meteo data for your site, you can calculate the RMS of the annual global incident irradiance distribution. You have a tool for doing this in PVSYST. Please use Databases, Compare Meteo data, and here choose the corresponding Meteo file for different years. You have an option histogram and probabilities, which shows the Gaussian distribution, average and RMS. Additional uncertainties in the simulation process could eventually be taken into account. These deviations should represent random variability of the uncertainty from year to year, not the absolute uncertainty. PV modules model and parameters, the main uncertainty after Matthew. Inverter efficiency, negligible. Soiling and module quality loss highly depending on the site conditions. Long-term degradation. This is not compatible with the P90 evaluation concept. We do not know how to handle this in the present time. All these random contributions will add quadratically, giving a global standard deviation, which may be applied for constructing the final Gaussian distribution function, and give estimation of the P90 or any of the P indicators. This is for very special uses, in usual situations, all of these values may be led to null values. PVCIS shows a graphical representation of your choice, either as a Gaussian probability distribution for several years, or as the corresponding cumulative distribution, the integral of the Gaussian. Playing with uncertainty parameters is highly instructive about the representativity of the simulation result for the future years. It is interesting to observe that according to your interpretation of the simulation result, that is the E grid fixed, the forecast production distribution may move around your simulation result. The P50 P90 statistical estimations are based on yearly values. Defining P90 for hourly or daily values, or even for monthly accumulations, doesn't make sense. When the variation of annual meteor data is of an order of 3 to 4 percent RMS, the variability of monthly data from year to year is much higher, and defining a probability profile for each month will give erratic results. Moreover, the probability profiles for determination of the P90 are statistical estimations, which should be based on significant weather series, at least 15 to 20 years of meteor data. But we do not avail for such generic data for monthly values and this would be very dependent on the climate and the season. If you want to do such evaluations, you should find monthly meteor data for 15 years or more for your site and evaluate the probability distribution month by month.